it's estimated that one in seven women will get breast cancer in their lifetime. It's a scary thought, obviously. And here at Loose Women, we've got one clear message, which is don't skip your screening. Uh, to show you just how easy it is, Sunetra went to get her first mammogram. One job done. My next job is to go and have my first ever mammogram. Which I'm a little bit nervous about because first anythings are always going to be tricky, aren't they? But I, uh, I particularly feel like this is the over 50 time where people should be really thinking about this. Last year, I was very unlucky to lose two of my best friends who both happened to be called Louise and who both died from cancer. And I found it really hard because I saw a lot of what breast cancer can do. So today I'm not only talking about it, I'm actually going to go and do it. Can I take your name? Sinetra Sarka. So here I am at the London Clinic Breast Unit. I think there is something about coming to clinics and feeling a little bit anxious, but hopefully that'll be fine when I have my mammogram. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, I'm Sinetra. You hit this landmark age and you think, why am I getting a letter to have a breast screening? Why is the age 50 so important? 50 is important because this is when we start picking up early breast cancers. Historically, most of breast cancers would happen after women completed their menopause. However, we are seeing more and more younger women coming in with breast cancers. Because screening saves lives, screening picks up breast cancer at a very early stage. Does somebody actually physically touch you before you have the mammogram? Absolutely not. When you're coming for a screening mammogram, mm. nobody examines you. It's only if you find something, then you're examined. And you can always request to see a female doctor. So we'd like to pop the gown on with the um, opening at the front mm -hmm. uh, and then just open the door when you're ready. You can leave all your things in the room there. Here we go. So the machine doesn't worry me so much because I know that's the technology that we've needed to help so many women just feel a little bit nervous because I don't quite know what it feels like. <laughs> I'm going to take four pictures of your breast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the right side. I'll lift the breast up onto the board. It doesn't sound very nice. The next bit, so I'm going to bring the plastic down onto the breast. It's going to feel tight. It's going to be uncomfortable. Um, we do that to make it the breast thinner, so we don't need so much radiation. And it just spreads the breast tissue so we can see it more clearly. It's really weird to be giving so much dedication to one particular <laughs> breast at a time like this. OK, and that was it. It wasn't that hard, you know. I honestly think it's more the fear of what's coming and what, of the unknown. It was uncomfortable, but only as uncomfortable as maybe, like, leaning against the door for too long or having some kind of pressure. So, girls, if you're worried about that first mammogram, please don't, because that wasn't hard compared to so many things women have to go through. So please do. Have your screening. So how was it then, Sinatra? You know what? There's so much I can say now that I, I've been through it. And to bring a camera crew with you for your first mammogram is a little bit unusual, I guess. But um, I knew it was important I did this because, like I said uh, in the VT, I, I was really... I was actually quite floored by losing two of my mates. I think we're all still 21 in our heads. I think a lot of us do. The people that you meet, you, you stay at the age that you meet them at. And so I met Louise Bracken, age four. I met Louise Clark, age 16. So we just stayed in these places. So when they got diagnosed with breast cancer, cervical cancer, I was just like, you'll get better. There's so much going on in cancer now. I said all the things we all say to people about how technology and medicine has moved on. And so when they both passed away, Louise Clark at 50, and Louise Bracken, sorry, Louise Clark at 49, <clears throat> and Louise Bracken at 50. It doesn't help they're both called Louise. <laughs> but it was a real uh, rug pull in my life. So when I got the letter saying, you have to have your breast screening, I knew I owed it to them, because, like, they didn't get there, right? They didn't get to be in the lucky position where I haven't got any symptoms and I'm absolutely fine and I'm going to go and just find out. And I think... 
that was a massive reason that I was like, let's take a camera crew, let's tell all these people that haven't felt the need to have to go and worry about this because it's not in their life. And then they wait for something terrible to happen to a friend before they realise it. So mm. this was the reason I did it. I went, I then went along and realised it. it's not just people like myself who might be a bit nervous about doing it. There's a huge demographic, predominantly South Asian women, actually, a bit scared. I think it's because it's so intimate, it's private part, it's having a I man. Noticed you asked the doctor, yeah. does anyone touch you? Well, yeah, exactly, because I know people of my mother's generation or people who maybe don't speak English well enough to feel comfortable having a man touch you, but they don't touch you. I found that out. You don't act... Nobody touched my body at all, apart from me. I had my gown open, it was pressed quite tightly, but like I say, it was it was like a door, maybe closing together for a little while on you. And um, and the hard part was I was so confident because I had a camera crew with me that everything was going to be fine. I then got told I had to go back and because they'd seen a little white shadow. And then I got really scared and I thought, wow, didn't even see that coming because I'm so fine. And I had to go back and have a 3D scan. Now, this is where my heart goes out to every woman who's ever received that letter because the weight is where you think of everything and anything that could go wrong with you. And it's a shame that you have to do that weight because, as it turns out, the 3D scan expanded the 2D X-ray and showed us there was actually nothing wrong with me, which is great for me, but I had to go through so many different... And I think that's maybe what will be putting people off, but don't because... Isn't it better to catch anything earlier mm. rather than later? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And you asked there, which is a good question, why is it 50? And, and the doctor explained why. But also, we, we do know that, that breast cancer can affect younger women. Of and, and so there has to be that level of awareness. Um, I mean, Lev, are you aware of it or do you think, do you tend to think that that's something that, you know, um... further down the line? No, super aware of it, just for the way being brought up. My mum was always very on to us about, you know, checking our breasts and, you know, going for smears, you know, I, when it was the right time. And we actually filmed it for a living meet so match, but about three or four years ago now, I did have a hard lump in my breast that was removed because they took an ultrasound of it and then they measured it and then it grew. And it was nothing. It turned out to be like a benign fatty lump. But I think it's just that thing of no matter what age you are as a woman, once you are... You know, developed and all that is checking yourself, being aware of your body. Like you say, better safe than sorry. And the, even if you were ill, the quicker you catch it, the yeah. better off it's going to be. But as Sinatra says, I think what does put some women off is you don't want to hear it. And no. you obviously had that experience of, oh my goodness, you yeah, know, there may be something. And I mean, you said that very casually. There was a hard lump. There must have been a period. There, yeah, there of time was a that period. You were like, I mean. He put, like, the kind of, the, you know, drew the kind of the picture of you're young, you're healthy, there's no cancer in the family, like, the chances are this is... A, a, they can kind of tell from there where they photograph things, like, what it looks like. Right. But he was like, I cannot verbally say to you 100% without taking that out and, and drawing from the lump and testing it. So he was like, that's why we need to do it. And obviously, you know, I had a, a slip round here on the areola and they took it out and it, was, it wasn't... Pleasant, you know, I wouldn't recommend it as a day trip, but I felt so relieved to have it out and then obviously have you know, I think it's remarkable that, you, yeah, anyone under 50 going actively to seek that kind of help, mm. I'll just take my hat off because I have buried my head in the sand over this. I would never dream, I'd never dream of going out of my way before I've been asked to do something to go and find out if I might be really yeah. ill. Yeah. I mean, it is a privilege that we have that these screenings are available to us. I mean, it's yeah. tough, but I think that's the way we've got to see it, haven't we? Um, when you reach the age of 50 and you get that letter telling you to go for your mammogram, please don't skip your screening. If you've been affected <laughs> by anything that we've been talking about today, there is help available. You can go to the Loose Women website to find out more details about our campaign and head to the itv.com uh, to, to find our helplines.